Hi, so this is just a quick review of my DirecTV Genie Go device. Um, it used to be called the DirecTV Nomad, but in early 2013 they rebranded it as the Genie Go, but it's the same unit. Um, basically what it is is a small device that's uh, used for transferring the contents of your DVR to portable devices like an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or an Android device, or a laptop computer. And so um, basically this is uh, what, what you get when you pay $99 to, to DirecTV. They give you this small device. It doesn't require uh, any subscription or extra fees on a monthly basis uh, by itself, but obviously you need to have uh, the DirecTV service and a DVR, uh, an HD DVR uh, to, to store the contents, uh, which you then you know transfer the, the contents out of using this. Um, so anyway, the, the DirecTV um, Genie Go, uh, very small, pretty easy to install. All you have to do is you know unpack it. Uh, you make sure that your DVR is connected to the internet, and they they, they tell you how to do that uh, with the instructions. Very easy if if you're not sure. But most of us have that connected to the internet already, and that's not a, a you know it's a difficult process. Um, and then you uh, uh, you uh, plug in your your um, your Genie Go to your home router, okay? And you have to do this. This is very important. You must have it connected with a hard wire. You have to have an Ethernet cable uh, from the uh, the home router to the Genie Go. It, it, this by itself, the Genie Go is not. A wireless device it uses the home router uh, to, to broadcast its signal and so you must have uh, a hard wire between them and you know I think there's some confusion sometimes on this because actually when you unpack the, the unit it, it comes in this and it shows uh, like I'm saying you have to have that Ethernet cable uh, you know between the two devices between your wireless router and Nomad and you can see up at the top here It's very specific do not connect the Nomad to your HD DVR So I imagine that's something that people run into from time to time, but anyway um, once you once you have the two connected um, the, the the Genie Go uh, is it's not unusual for it to spend about 10 minutes then updating its software and then after that happens uh, these three little blue lights uh, come on and tell you that it's uh, basically ready to go and so then your next step is to make sure that you have the software installed on your devices and so uh, we'll move to those and I'll show you those next. Okay so um, you know after you've had a chance to download the program onto a device uh, such as this this is just an iPod it's a recent iPod um, touch that I, that I got um, you get a program called uh, you know the, the, the Genie Go uh, software it's, it's also available on you know a, a laptop as well you can use that but uh, you know, here's an example just on a on a small device like a um, an iPod Touch. Um, basically, what it does is it shows you what is on your DVR, uh, and you have to, to to access this. You have to be on the same uh, network. You have to be on your same Wi-Fi network as your DVR, and it'll show you what you have on the DVR. And then from that, you can select a show that you are interested in downloading. And so you know, maybe you have some kids and you want to go on a on an airplane ride or on a uh, perhaps on a long uh, you know road trip and you want to get some something for the kids to to watch and so you uh, select the show and then what happens is you can select the show again and it gives you two options uh, the first one is just to watch now okay and so what that'll do is while you're on the uh, the system you can click that and stream it and so it just takes a moment and this will stream uh, to my um, to, to my iPod Touch, you can just we'll just watch it so you can see the, the amount of time it takes. All right, so that's yeah, that's great. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, and and then your other option is to download it, and and the benefit to downloading it, like I say, is you don't have to be on the network. You can take this with you. Uh, you don't have to be on the network after you have it downloaded. But to download it, it's not instantaneous. It actually takes a little while. And so what you do is you, you click download, and then you'll see down in the bottom uh, left corner, I don't know if you can uh, read that on the screen, but it says waiting to prepare. And so basically that little capsule in the bottom uh, the bottom left, right, kind of right there uh, above my, my finger, it says waiting to prepare. Um, that will fill up uh, as it prepares the, the the television show, and the time that it takes is uh, typically almost exactly the same as the length of the show. So this is a 32-minute show. So I would just, as a rule of thumb, expect at least a half hour for the device to prepare the show, and then after it's prepared, you can download it. Okay, and downloading it, uh, you know, will take 
five five minutes you know for a show of this length for a movie it might take closer to 10 so there's two steps there's the the preparing and then the download for me since i you know just did this on this ipod it's going to both prepare and download it automatically once the 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 show is prepared though um it's quick on another device uh to to download it quickly and so if i were to you know tell the tell the device to prepare it i and, and uh you know download it for my my ipod I could then go to my my laptop, and if I wanted to to download that same show uh, on it, it would be very quick. Uh, the, the show would already be prepared, and so that I would just have to go through that download phase of about six minutes. Another thing <clears throat> that's um, kind of helpful about the the um, software is for if if you're following a series, you can choose to to auto download that series. And if you can see that uh, in the bottom right corner, there's that little switch I just turned on and off. Um, and, and when you turn it on, basically what that means is it will not only, um, you know, prepare, well, it, it will prepare every show for you automatically. And the device can hold, I think, up to like 20 hours of HD content, or of content, excuse me, I should not say HD content, because the, the, the images are not quite HD, uh, but it will take about 20 hours of content. And as, you know, in this instance, uh, was it Wild Kratz? Uh, Wild Kratz would, uh, uh, every in instance that it came on, not only would you have it on your DVR, but then the, when the Nomad or uh, Genie Go device realizes it has a new uh, Wild Kratz episode, it would go through that, that preparation step automatically. And so all you have to do is just download them, which, like I say, is, is pretty quick. So that, that gives you just a little bit about you know, how, how, how this part of the device works. Um, we'll go back out uh, of this device and go to something that's already uh, uh, downloaded. And so we'll go out to the, to the, to the full menu. And... Um, I have a show here called Chronicles, a movie, um, and you can see the little green arrow on the right. That means that it's already been prepared and it's ready to watch. And I, I, I've had it on, actually on for a little bit, uh, so I think it, what it will do is um, it will pick up right from where we left off. And let's uh, let's show that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, one thing that's interesting about that is that, you know, if you, even when you go out of the software and come back into it, it doesn't lose your place. So that's kind of handy. And, um, you know, the, the picture quality, I would say it's not quite as good as uh, a full HD, um, you know, movie that you might rent from, uh, you know, uh, one of the various uh, download sites. Um, but it's very good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this on a, on a Retina iPad, and I can watch it on a, you know, a Retina MacBook Pro. And, um, you know, both of them are, are, are definitely acceptable to watch, but if you want the, the best quality, I would definitely, you know, download a, an original copy from, like, iTunes or the Play Store or, or, or Amazon or what have you. So, anyway, um, that gives you a few ideas about how this device works. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think, you know, um, for $99 to add this feature onto your DirecTV subscription, especially if you find yourself, you know, traveling and want to keep up with, you know, a few shows or need, need to kill some time. Uh, it's nice convenience, not very expensive, only $99, and then you have full access to all your recorded shows. That's pretty handy. And, um, you know, one, one other thing, actually, I'll just say is, you know, like that streaming uh, effect that, you know, if you go into a movie that you haven't prepared, uh, you know, you can press this Watch Now button while you're on the um, network. But you can also set up your system where the Nomad will go into your router, uh, reconfigure the port settings so that if you are, uh, you know, at somewhere else, uh, you know, across the country or what have you, and uh, on a Wi-Fi network, uh, you can access your DVR um, at, using that Watch Now feature. Um, you can watch your, you know, your shows that are on your DVR, um, but you do have to go through a little bit more configuration, like I say. So. Anyway, um, mo mostly I'd say, uh, you know, uh, thumbs up on this, uh, inexpensive, pretty easy to use, uh, and super, you know, super nice convenience to be able to uh, pull your content um, over to your, to your, your handheld devices. Um, one last thing I'll just, actually I should mention is just that there is a limitation on the, on the device where a show that you download, um, you have access to it for uh, 30 days is my understanding, uh, and I think that's consistent across all uh, programs, you have a 30-day limitation. And the second thing that um, actually I'll, I'll mention is another limitation is that I have noticed that not all, um, not all channels allow uh, the Nomad uh, Genie Go to access it. For example, I found that Stars Network, I have some, you know, I, I think a, a movie that I downloaded recently or a couple movies that I downloaded recently, and it does not show up uh, in, in, in my list of, you know, DVR 
or, or shows that are on my DVR. If you see up here in the top left, uh, the DVR, you know, um, sh it shows everything that should be available uh, to, to, to pull over to my device, and nothing from the Stars network uh, will will appear. And I I'm, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if there are more than Stars. Stars is the only one I'm I'm aware of. So, uh, but with other than that, uh, pretty good device. And um, you know, if you decided to get it, I, I I think you'd probably like it too. So good luck. Thanks.